Hi, it's Vicky here from Off The Hook For You and today I'm going to show you how to make a tiny little hat that fits on a bottle of wine. You will need some DK yarn. I'm using this one, which is Hobie. It's the acrylic, acrylic Christmas one um, in two colours. I've got a four millimetre crochet hook. I've got a fork, a needle and some scissors. So let's get cracking and make a tiny weeny little hat that fits on a bottle of wine. Right, so we're going to start with a magic ring. So wind the wool around your finger so you end up with three loops. If you notice, my tail is over to the right and actually the ball of wool starts at the base of my finger. And this is really important. I have another video on how to make a magic ring if you're not sure how to do it. That's a lot slower than this one. So please check that out. I'll put a link in the comments. So what you need to do is go under the two loops, grab the one loop and pull it back through. At this point, you need to instantly chain two and your wool's in the wrong place, it's actually down here. So we're gonna chain two, which gets us to the height of the US half double crochet stitch. So point your finger, we need our working yarn over to the right, our tail to the left, we're gonna pull the loops off, we're gonna move our tail in front of the loops, our working yarn behind, and we're gonna do all our stitches in the middle of these loops. We're gonna start with a US half double crochet. So we need to yarn over, through the loops front to back, wiggle your hook round to grab the yarn, pull back through, you've now got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull back through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, through, grab, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull back through all three loops. And we need to do five half double crochets in total. So yarn over, through, grab, three loops, yarn over, pull back through. Two more. Yarn over, through, grab, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull back through. One more. Yarn over, through, grab, three loops, yarn over, pull back through. At this point, you need to make sure your stitches are nice and flat, which mine are. And I'm going to pull my tail. My tail will actually make these this hole disappear. There we go. We're now back at a circle. So I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain two, which is just under here. So go under two loops and a slip stitch. We're just going to grab the yarn, pull it back through and pull it back through what's on the hook. And we're just joining it together to make a circle. We're going to chain two up and we're now on round number two. And we're going to do one half double crochet in the base of the chain. So we're going to go in here, right at the base of the chain. So yarn over, same stitch as before. Through, grab your yarn, pull it back through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull back through. And we're going to do two half double crochet in every stitch from the previous round. So yarn over, grab, yarn over, pull back through. And another one in the same space. Two, moving on to the next stitch. One, two, two more in the next one. So this will actually end up with us having 12 stitches because the chain two at the beginning counts as our first stitch. And then every stitch after that, and we did five, will give us two more stitches. So two plus 10, equals 12. Two more in this one. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you notice, I'm not doing any in this gap here. I'll zoom in to show you. Where the chain comes out, you don't need to, because you, you do your stitches in a slightly different place. So we ignore this last stitch here. And we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two, which is in here. Okay, then. Right, chain two up to get to the height of the half double crochet. And now we're going to do two in this one. So we're going to do one. Chain two counts as our first stitch. Base of the chain here counts as stitch number two. And then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next one. Oh. Struggling. There we go. One half double crochet in the next one. Two in the next one. 
one in the next one. It's the same stitch we did before. Two followed by one. And we end on a one and this one we're actually going to change color and we're going to change to cream so if you notice i've actually got my three loops as if i'm doing the stitch on my hook and then in order to finish the stitch and give me a nice level if you look at the hat you can't see where i've changed color we change color on the last yarn over of the stitch so at this point i've got three loops on my hook i'm going to pull back through with my cream which is then my new color and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain two over here. Chain two up. And then very easily now we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch until we get back round. So exactly the same stitch, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull back through all three. If you notice I'm actually leaving my red joined just because I'm going to change colour again very quickly. So this is one half double crochet in each stitch until I get back round to the beginning. So ignore this one because it's the one next to the chain, slip stitch to join, chain two up and one half double crochet in each stitch around again. So two rounds in your contrast colour. Right, I'm changing colour again. So at this point I'm actually going to cut off my cream because I've done what I need to with that. And I'm going to do my last yarn over in my red. So picking up my red again, through, make sure that's nice and tight, slip stitch to the top, and then one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet in each stitch. nearly back round one in there we ignore this one again slip stitch to the top of the chain two and we're going to chain three this time one two three and now we're doing front post back post double crochet so yarn over 
you're going to go around the post. So before we were going under our top stitches here, the two loops on the top. Now we're actually going around the post. So you have to come front, so you're going to go around the post. I've got a different video on this one as well that explains it a bit better. Around the post and then finish the double crochet as normal. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, we're now going back post. So we're going to insert the hook around so it's coming out the back. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Right, around the front, so the post is at the front, and a double crochet. So pull through two, pull through two, and a back post. And we're going to repeat front post, back post, all the way around on this little hat, and it will give us a different texture for the bottom, the rim of the hat. So back post. front post back post oh drop tip front post back post Keep repeating front post and back post, double crochets until your background to the beginning. All right, one more front post around this one. And then slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So yarn over, pull back through, pull back through. And then fasten off. So we're going to make our loop nice and big. The yarn off, post it through and pull it tight. At this point we need to weave in our ends. So actually what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to tie a knot in these white ones just to secure them a tiny bit more and also pull the stitches in a little bit. And then with a needle, I'm going to sew in the ends. So exactly the same as you would do for normal crochet. Just weave in and out of the stitches so the end can't work its way out. One there. Do this one. There we go, there's the white ones, the cream ones sewn in. So I'm just going to cut those ends off. And then do the same with the other two. So I'm going to go up the stitch and make sure I'm weaving it into the red part of the hat rather than the white part, otherwise you'll see it. and then the top one notice I do each one about three or four times right you can cut those off right onto the pom-pom so there's our little hat turn it inside out and there you go, one little hat, one little hat. So now we need the pom-pom for the top. So with your fork, move those up there. With your fork, I'm going to cut an end and I'm going to use red to begin with. I'm going to lie it in the middle between the middle prong of the fork. Then using white and cream together, You hold it back with both hands here using white and cream together I'm going to wrap it around 30 times two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty-one 
30. Right. 30. At this point, you can cut your ends there. Take the two bits that you tied at the very beginning. You had at the very beginning, so the two long red bits. And all I'm going to do is tie a knot in the middle of those. I'm going to hold with my finger. If you've got cotton yarn, use that. It just holds it. it means it doesn't snap quite so quickly. So two long ends. Keep those ends long because you can actually use those to sew it onto your little hat. And then using scissors, just cut down the side of the fork. You might find you need to do it a few times. There's one side. Again, I want those long ends. There we go. Check it's got check I've cut both sides, which I have. At this point, you can pull it off your fork. You've got a little pom pom. I'm now going to sew it to my hat and then I will trim it up. So with the end, threaded the needle. With the end, I'm going to go in from the top and keep hold of that one in there. I'm now going to go in with the next one. So again, threading my needle, checking I'm at the top. I'm going to go in through a stitch at the top then unthread the needle. And now I've got two ends in the middle of the hat. So to attach it to the little hat, all I'm going to do now is tie a knot, which will secure the pom-pom to the top of the hat. So, double knot, that's now attached. I'm going to cut those off a bit shorter because I don't need them. But not long enough that you can see them. You see there's an end here where I've weaved it in, so I'm going to cut rid of that one. And then if you look, the pom-pom's a bit of a mess in some places. So using your scissors, just give it a little haircut to make it a better shape pom-pom. And there we have it, a little hat that will fit on a wine bottle. Thanks for watching, I'd love for you to hit subscribe. Um, I'll be back to show you how to make a scarf shortly.